Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessings to you all on Instagram Live, YouTube tonight, and we're getting ready to log on Facebook Live. I am Apostle Carmen Haywood, and I am the senior pastor of PIPW Ministry, and we are located here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Stay with me as long as you can. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you all tonight. Listen, I am on fire. Hallelujah. I am thankful and grateful unto God for what he's about to release in this atmosphere. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Huh? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Hallelujah. On YouTube. Amen. YouTube over here. Instagram live. And we got Facebook live right in the middle. You're Glory to God. Here. Hallelujah. It's been a minute since I've been on. Amen. I, I don't think I went live since last week. Hallelujah. But we are here. Hallelujah. I give God praise tonight. Hey, hallelujah. I feel like praying. Amen. The spirit of prayer is upon me tonight and I'm going to release the word of the Lord into your life. Hey, hallelujah. But there is a word from God that's going to set the captive free tonight. I'm telling you what I know. Hallelujah. This word tonight is going to set many of you free. Hallelujah. In the Holy Ghost. Hey, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm just going to wait. Amen. For a few people to come on tonight. Hallelujah. I tagged a few people in uh, Facebook live. Glory to God. So we're just going to wait a few minutes. Hallelujah. For some people to join. Glory to God. But I welcome you on Instagram live. I welcome you on YouTube again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you that are chiming in, I want you to click that share button. All right, hit some hearts for Jesus. Glory to hey, hi, did 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 your shot. Hallelujah. I'm telling y'all, I'm fired up tonight. Glory to God. If y'all want to grab your Bibles, you can. Hallelujah. If you want to grab a notepad and an ink pen, you can. Glory to God. I'm going to release the word of the Lord into your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a time, amen, where the people of God got to stand flat foot and stand on the word of of God. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. I said, this is the time. Amen. Where the people of God have to stand flat foot. Hallelujah. And believe God. Hallelujah. For all things in this season. Hey, hi, you did it. Your shot. Glory to God. I, I want to know if Facebook live is frozen or if you all can hear me on Facebook Live. Amen. Hit those hearts for Jesus. Thank you. Thank you so much. Amen. The one that just hit the heart. I appreciate you tonight. Hallelujah. We get ready to dive in. I feel the spirit of prayer upon me. Hallelujah. I thank God tonight. God bless you, Sister Katrina. Blessings to you all. God bless you. Amen. Minister Dexter tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's saturate this atmosphere with worship. Come on. Right where you are. Glory to God. Give God praise. Come on. Give him praise. Come on. Hey, hi. You did it in the old shot. Come on. There's going to be an igniting. Amen. Of the Holy Spirit tonight. Mm. Glory to God. There's going to be a refreshing. Huh? Hallelujah to many of you on tonight. Glory to God. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. God is up to something great on tonight. Hallelujah. And this word that's in my belly, I'm getting ready to release it. Glory to God. I'm looking at YouTube. I'm looking at Instagram and I'm looking at Facebook live right in the middle. But I give God praise on tonight. God bless you. Amen. Sister Adina. God bless you. Ambrina. Amen. God bless you, uh, Vivian. Hallelujah. I believe I greeted everybody. Listen, hallelujah. We get ready to pray. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm. Yes, God. Father, we glorify you tonight. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your holy name, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you, oh God. And as we come into your presence, Father, hallelujah, we come into your presence with thanksgiving, oh God. Hallelujah. We enter into your presence, oh God. Hallelujah. Thanking you, oh God, just for who you are. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I decree and declare now, hallelujah, yes, God, that your people will be edified tonight, that they will be lifted up in their spirit tonight. In the name of Jesus, oh God. 
And Lord, forgive us for our sins, Father. Oh God, wash us clean, oh God. Hallelujah. Once again, Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. And we thank you for your forgiveness, God. We thank you that you are faithful and just to forgive us for all sin. Now, Holy Spirit, have your way on tonight. Oh God, move through this broadcast tonight. Oh God, touch your people in a special way tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, God. Lift heavy burdens, I pray tonight. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, lift the burdens off of their shoulders tonight. Hallelujah, God. Give your people peace. Um, oh God, your peace that surpasses all understanding. Mm as they keep their hearts and they keep their minds stayed on you, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you. As I begin to pray for your people, oh God, I thank you for breaking down, hallelujah, every barrier that the enemy, oh God, hallelujah, has placed in their life, Father. In the name of Jesus, yes, God, let your blood prevail tonight, Father. Oh God, let the blood of Jesus prevail tonight. And Father, we thank you now, hallelujah, that the blood of Jesus still works. It's still carries all power. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you tonight. Oh God, that you are strengthening those who need strength tonight. Oh God, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Oh God, that you're moving mightily by your spirit concerning the church. I thank you even now, Father, for your anointing being released upon this broadcast. Oh God, release your anointing. Release your power even now. In the name of Jesus, oh God, and set the captive free, I pray. Oh God, set somebody free in their mind. Oh God, set them free in their body. Oh God, set them free in their heart, Father. In the name of Jesus and even those who are going through tonight, Father, I pray, oh God, that you would strengthen them for the journey. Oh God, strengthen your people even now. Even those that are going through situations, even those who are going through storms, Father, strengthen them now, I pray. In the name of Jesus, yes, God. Even those, oh God, who stand in the need of direction. Mm. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, that you would give them clear direction tonight. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, that you would make it clear to them tonight which direction they are to go in, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. And, Lord, we thank you for it now. We praise you for it now, oh, God. And, Lord, I just pray right now a hedge of protection over your people as I release this word in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, hallelujah. I speak Psalm 91 over my Myself. I speak Psalm 91 over your people in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, that we will be protected, hallelujah, from the hands of the enemy, that we will be protected, hallelujah, from the attack of the evil one, oh God, that you will surround us, hallelujah, with a firewall tonight, oh God, hallelujah, that will barricade us into a place of safety, but oh God, hallelujah, as the enemy will try to come in, Father, we thank you now that the the firewall will keep the devil out in the name of Jesus. Um, and Lord, I thank you for it now. I praise you for it now, oh God. I bless your holy name, Jesus. Um, and I thank you for your anointing, oh God. And I thank you that your anointing destroys every yoke, Father. In the name of Jesus, yes, God. Even your people, oh God. Hallelujah. That stand in the need of personal prayer. I lift them up before you now, Father. And I ask in the name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah. That you will begin to move upon their prayer requests. Um, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in a special way, God. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, I thank you. Oh, God, I lift up the church there in Pakistan. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, that you will see about your people. Oh, God, that you will send the rescue. Oh, God, that they stand in need of. Yes, Father. Oh, God, send the rescue. Send the finances, oh, God. Hallelujah. There in Pakistan. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. And, Father, I thank you for a hedge of protection over your people now. There in Pakistan. In the name of Jesus, yes, God. And we thank you that your blood prevails. We thank you, Lord God, that your people are safe. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for safety now. And it's in Jesus' mighty name I do pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 I just got to give God praise, people of God. Because let me tell you something. Hallelujah. As God was dealing with me concerning this word, he said, tell my people when they are in warfare, they are to apply pressure. Listen, listen, the word of the Lord tonight 
God says when you are in warfare, you are to apply pressure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are in warfare, that's not a time for you to retreat. That's not a time for you to back up. That's not a time for you to throw in the towel. That's not time for you to say, you know what, devil? You can go head on and have your way. No, 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 no. That's a time for you to buckle down. Hallelujah. That's time for you to say, you know what, devil? Take your best shot. Hallelujah. Because some of you getting ready to come out with the victory. Hallelujah. But you are so close to the victory. And God told me to tell you this. Oh, oh God, this late evening about to be early morning. That he's going to bring you out, but he's going to bring you out with the victory. Glory to God. The Bible says in Psalm 24, glory to God, Psalm 24, starting at verse 7. It says, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory, who is Jesus Christ himself, shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Hallelujah. The Lord mighty in battle. Hallelujah. I need you all to share this broadcast. I need you to click that share button a couple times. Amen. And after you have shared this broadcast, I want you to tag a few names. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to get this word out. Hallelujah. Help me get this word out tonight because there are some people that you know that I don't know. Hallelujah. But God said this word needs to get out concerning his people. So I need you to share. Hallelujah. I need you to share. Thank you, Ambrina. Glory to God. I need you to tag a few names, especially those who you know are going through. Glory to God. If you know somebody that's struggling, hallelujah. If you know somebody, listen, that's ready to throw in the towel, I want you to tag their name right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, because God is getting ready to give them the miracle and the strength that they stand in need of. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Once again, Psalm 24, it says, lift up your head. O ye gates. Hallelujah. And be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors and the King of glory. Let me encourage you right here. God wants to come into your situation. Hallelujah. God wants to come in. Huh? He wants to come into your situation. I don't know who that's for tonight, but receive the word of the Lord. God wants to come in to your situation because he is the king of glory. Hallelujah. He's the Lord strong and mighty. Hallelujah. He's mighty in battle. I want somebody to put in the comments. God has never lost a battle. Mm, hallelujah. I'm talking about Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. He has never lost a battle a battle. Woo! Hallelujah. I feel God right here. Hallelujah. Because somebody needs to be encouraged. God has never lost a battle. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about Jesus. I ain't talking about Muhammad. I'm not talking about Confucius. I'm not talking about all these other gods. I'm not talking about the sun God and the moon God and all these other gods, lowercase g, that other people bow down to and, and worship. No, 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 no. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hey, I'm talking about the one who died for your sin. I, I'm talking about the one who gave up his life on Calvary's cross. I'm talking about Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is sitting right now on the right hand of the father and he's making intercession for you even now. So why are you discouraged church? Why are you fearful church? Why are you fearful what the enemy can do to you? The Bible clearly says there are more that are for you than those who are against you. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Some of you are fighting enemies, but you got to realize that God's going to make your enemies your footstool. Hey, hallelujah. Don't be fearful when you have enemies. And I don't know who I'm talking to right here, but I believe many of you are walking around in fear. Hallelujah. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Oh, glory to God. You have three things to overpower fear. Come on, somebody. I said you have three things. Things to overpower fear. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it till it hits your spirit. You have three things that God has given you. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has given you love. He's given you a sound mind. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. He's given you power. He's given you love. And he's given you a sound mind. See, the enemy can only come in when you allow him to come in. See, see, but you have power to rebuke Satan. Ha! Ah, glory to God. See, Jesus told the disciples in Luke 10 and 19, what did he say? 
He said, behold, I've given unto you power. Mm. Glory to God. I feel God moving right here. God bless you, elderly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I love you. Amen. I love you, elderly. God bless you tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus told the disciples, he said, listen, I've given you power over the devil. Mm. I've given you power to crush. Ha. Hallelujah. The head of the enemy. Glory to God. He said, and uh, glory to God. Mm. Hallelujah. He said, behold, I've given unto you power. He said, power to crush. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Power. Glory to God. Mm. Hallelujah. To step upon. Hallelujah. Power. Glory to God. To crush the head of the serpent. Hallelujah. He said, he said, and no, no, no evil. Glory to God. That's trying to come against you. Hallelujah. It will not work. Glory to God. He told the disciples very clearly. He said, behold, I've given unto you power, power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. He said, and nothing, woo, hallelujah. He said, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Come on, somebody. You got to, oh God, you got to apply pressure. Hallelujah. In times of warfare. Oh my God. Hallelujah. You can't back down now. Hallelujah. Because your family is depending on you. If you got children, your children are depending on you. Who am I talking to right here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are people that are depending on your coming out. Hey, hallelujah. And those of you that are called by God and those of you that have an anointing on your life, let me tell you something. Hallelujah. This one right here, hallelujah, is on God. He said, tell my people, hallelujah, that they must walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Listen, 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 let me encourage you right here. Mm. Hallelujah. He said, as long as your faith is in me, saith the Lord, he says, I will move the mountain for you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, if you got faith, the size of a mustard seed, you can speak to the mountain. Hallelujah. And the mountain got to go out of your way. Who am I talking to right here? Cause you've been talking, but you ain't been saying the right thing. Hallelujah. You've been talking, but you ain't been praying the right prayer. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to tell God, listen, I know where my enemies are, Jesus. I know, I know, I see them very clearly, but God, I need you to destroy my enemies. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We don't become fearful. We don't become naive. We don't walk around like we don't know that the devil got it out for us. The devil is a complete liar. No, you got to say, God, I know, and God, I see, but God, I need you to fight this battle for me. Hey! Hallelujah. God, I need you to step in. God, I need you to intervene. See, it's too many jellybacks in the kingdom. Come on, somebody. It's too many jellybacks. When God wants you to be on the front line, hallelujah, of the battlefield, glory to God, he's looking for ambassadors. He's looking for his chosen people. He's looking for those that got weapons. Hallelujah. And I'm talking about the weapons that he gave you. The Bible says, glory to God, that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. You got power, hey, and you got power with God. I don't know who I'm encouraging right here. Hallelujah, but you can't fight this battle in the flesh. Jesus, have mercy. Oh, God, you, you cannot fight this battle in the flesh. You're going to lose. But when you fight, huh? hallelujah, the good fight of faith. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. When you put on the whole armor of God, that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. According to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 19. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able, hallelujah, to stand against the wiles of the devil. Some of you are in warfare and you feel like you're about to lose your mind, I come to tell you as God's prophet this night, you ain't going to lose your mind. Hallelujah. This is one of the best battles. Hallelujah. That you're going to face in your life because I see victory for many of you tonight, but you got to go through and you got to go through like a good soldier. Hallelujah. Hey, you got to go through knowing that God is going before you. You got to go through people of God. Hallelujah. Knowing that God has given you weapons. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare. They are not carnal. They are not fleshly. Woo! 
Hallelujah. Do you hear me, people of God? Listen, if you in your flesh, you got to come out of your flesh. In order to fight the enemy, hallelujah, you got to stay in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. You even got to pray in the spirit. I thank God for my prophetic teachers. I thank God for those that poured into me and poured into my life in the beginning of my ministry. They told me, they said, Carmen, you got to pray. Hey, hallelujah, in the spirit. Glory to God. Sometimes you can't pray in English. Hey, hallelujah, because the devil understands what you're saying in English. English, but when you begin to pray, hallelujah, in the realm of the spirit, let me tell you something. Hey, shatan da baha, rekataya di 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 yosha. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. The devil cannot understand what you are saying. Woo! Glory, hallelujah. Hall I'm going to say that again for those in the back that cannot hear me. Sometimes you got to pray in the spirit. You got to pray in tongues. Come on, somebody. I thank God for my prophetic teachers. Hallelujah. That taught me and taught me very well in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. When you begin to pray, hey, shatan oh, there's a transferring tonight. Hallelujah. There's an impartation tonight because you're now going to pray in the realm of the spirit because now you understand, hallelujah, that you are under intense warfare. You understand the hey, glory to God. Hallelujah that you got to do what God said in Matthew 11 and 12. Mm. Matthew 11 and 12. The B portion says the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. Mm. But the violent take it back by force. Oh God. I'm going to say it again till it hits your spirit. Hallelujah. The kingdom of heaven. Mm. Glory to God. Who's in the kingdom of God? Come on. Are you in the kingdom of God? Because if you in the kingdom of God, I'm talking to you. Hallelujah. If you a king's kid. Hallelujah. If you belong to Jesus, I, I'm talking to you. Hey, glory. I'm talking to you tonight. Hallelujah. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it back by force. There are some things, elderly, we got to take back by force. This Listen, let me encourage you right here, people of God. You got to take back your peace. Hey, I don't know who I'm talking to right here, but don't let the devil steal your peace no more. Hallelujah. Jesus said, this peace I give unto you. Hey, not as the world gives. Hallelujah. But this peace I give unto you. Never let the devil steal your peace. Hallelujah. If you got to cut some people off. If you got to walk away, walk away from that job, if you got to walk away from that relationship, whatever you got to do, hallelujah, to keep your peace, uh, that's what you do, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, uh, because God can give you another job, oh God, hallelujah, God can give you somebody else to be with, y'all not going to talk back to me on tonight, hallelujah, God can restore you, hallelujah, he can give you more and give you better than what you think you lost, oh, hallelujah, ask me how I know, mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So don't let the devil steal your peace. Hallelujah. Don't let the devil take your joy, people of God. Hallelujah. You got to keep your joy. Hallelujah. If you got to smile, hallelujah, even while you're crying on the inside, don't let the devil see, hallelujah, that you're not feeling too well. Hallelujah. Stop telling everybody that you ain't feeling good. The devil is a liar. Stop telling people that can't even pray you through anything, that you got this problem and you got that problem. You got to be very careful careful who you talk to and who you ask to pray for you because some people ain't praying for you they're praying on you mm. True God now, I'm gonna say it again in the Holy Ghost some people are praying against you and they're not praying for you Woo. hallelujah my Bible says know them that labor among you Hey, hallelujah try the spirit by the spirit to see if that spirit is of God elder Shalia Hallelujah. I wanted to come to your service, Elder. Amen. But we had church. <laughs> but just know I saw your flyer, Elder Shalia, and I really wanted to come. I really wanted to come, woman of God. But I did pray for you. Hallelujah. And I know that God had his way in the name of Jesus. So God bless you. Amen. Elder Shalia. Ha, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So you got to realize, people of God, that you got power and you have power with God. And don't even let the devil take your power. Mm. Jesus. Hey. Can I help those of you that have experienced witchcraft? Do you know the enemy sends witchcraft your way? Hallelujah. The enemy sends witchcraft your way to take your power. See, let, let, let me slow this train down for a minute. Because some of y'all need to understand why the enemy is working witchcraft against you. 
let, let's understand what witchcraft is, okay? Witchcraft is nothing but rebellion, all right? Rebellion and it's also um, control, all right? So when a person tries to control you or an entity tries to control you, that is the spirit of witchcraft coming against you to try to manipulate you out of your power. Mm. Can I just teach for a minute? Jesus, have mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The enemy will send whomever will allow him to be used. In other words, somebody has to say yes to evil. Somebody has to say yes to darkness. And let me encourage you right here. The moment they say yes to darkness, now you are their prey. P-R-E-Y. Okay? You are now their prey. Okay? So they're going to prey on you because you're the chosen one. You're the child of God. Come on. You're the one that's living for Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. And because you're the one that's living for Jesus, hallelujah, the enemy does not like that. Let's go back a little bit. Satan got kicked out of heaven. Lucifer, Beelzebub, whatever you want to call him. He got many names, okay? And I had my church to study the many names of the devil. Can, can I help y'all out right here? It's good to know the many names of God, but you need to know how the enemy operates. Hallelujah. And how the enemy maneuvers. You have to know that he has different names. Come on. The enemy has different names. And somebody may say, well, why I need to know the different names of the devil? You need to. He's the prince of the air. Come on. Can I just teach for about two minutes? Satan is the prince of the air. Mm -hmm. He's the father of lies. Uh-huh. Yeah, he has many, oh, yeah, did, 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 many names. So if somebody's constantly lying to you, they are controlled by the devil. Woo! Jesus, have mercy. And, and see, the lies come to manipulate you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. So, so when you catch people in lies, <laughs> and, and, you, and, that, and that lying spirit is exposed, what happens is the enemy gets upset. The enemy that is at work in that person. And what happens is, people of God, that enemy tries to now come up against you to make you seem like you're the liar. Or to make you seem like you are now, open up, open up the understanding, amen. The enemy wants you to make, the enemy wants you to believe that you're not walking in truth. And this is where control comes from. This is where manipulation comes from. And this is why you cannot give the enemy your power. God has given you authority as his child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have authority that has come straight from heaven. Oh, God. Hallelujah. It has come straight from God himself. Amen. And you have to know that you have authority. Hallelujah. Over every witch. Over every warlock. Oh, I'm getting in some good trouble right here. Hallelujah. Because I'm coming for the devil. And I really don't care anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because as a true prophet of the Lord, let me tell you something. Hallelujah. It grieves my spirit. Hallelujah. When I see the saints. Oh, God, not fighting the good fight of faith. Mm. Hallelujah. It, it grieves my spirit, Elder Shalia. Hallelujah. When I see the enemy at work. Jesus, have mercy, and nobody else sees the devil. Oh, God, hallelujah, it, it grieves my spirit. Hallelujah, Elder Moore, God bless you, God bless you. Hallelujah, when, when I see the, the people of God being manipulated, mm, Jesus, have mercy, and I see them being bewitched, and I'm like, nobody else sees this? Nobody else sees this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. But you got prophets in the midst. No, as true prophets, we can identify witchcraft. Come on. We know when the... Oh, yeah, did, 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 oh, shy. Ooh, God, we just hit a nail on the head. I felt it in the spirit. Hallelujah. Some of you got your understanding now. You realize that there is witchcraft. Oh, yeah, did, 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 oh, shy. That is coming against your life. That is coming against your progress. That is coming against your finances. That is coming against your health. Oh, God. Hallelujah. You realize now. Mm. 
That is nothing but control to try to take your power. And somebody may say, well, Jesus has all power. He does. But he's given you power as well. Hallelujah. And as a child of God, you have to know that you got power. Mm, but you got to now walk in that power. Come on. Hallelujah. You got to walk in dunamis power. Come on. Come on. You, you got to walk in power. Hallelujah. Not just with your feet, but also with your mouth. Woo. Hallelujah. The Bible says you shall have what you say. Hey. Hallelujah. And sometimes you got to say, I can do all things through Christ um, who strengthens me. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to decree and declare in your atmosphere. Fear. Hallelujah. I can do all things. Woo. Hallelujah. Through Christ who strengthens me. I can run through a troop. I can leap over a wall. Woo. Hallelujah. I will not be defeated in this season. Hey, you got to start speaking. Hallelujah. And decreeing and declaring over your life. Hallelujah. You're not crazy. Oh my God. Who am I talking to right here? Because some of y'all think you're crazy. You're not crazy. You're not hallucinating. God is talking to you and he's telling you to speak out of your mouth. Mm. His word. Hallelujah. Speak out of your mouth what he told you. Hey, hallelujah. Speak out of your mouth, people of God. Hallelujah. The word of God. Hallelujah. Begin to pray the word of God. If you don't know nothing else to pray. Hallelujah. Pray Matthew chapter six. Glory to God. Nine through 12. Hey, hallelujah. That's the our father's prayer. Glory to God. If you don't know nothing else to pray. Hallelujah. Just say our father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Father, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all that is evil. For thine is the kingdom. Hallelujah. Thine is the power. Hallelujah. Thine is the glory forever and ever. Amen. Woo. And then God's going to fill your mouth. Amen. With the rest of the prayer. Because see, the enemy wants to take your words. Woo. God, who am I talking to right here? The devil wants to take your words. And if he can take your words and if he can twist your words and if he can manipulate your words, then he got you. Hey, hallelujah. But that's when you got to say this mouth right here belongs to the Lord. Hey, hallelujah. I'm going to speak what God tells me to speak. I'm, I'm going to say what God tells me to say because he has given me power. Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And power to tread. Hallelujah. Power to crush the head of the enemy. Hallelujah. God has given many of you even to cut. He's given you power to cut the head of the serpent. Don't you let no snake spirit be around you and you just sit there like ain't nothing happening. I want to encourage somebody right here. A snake is a snake all day long. A witch is a witch all day long. A warlock is a warlock all day long. I don't care how you try to slice it and dice it. I don't care how you try to sugarcoat it. Let me encourage five of you right here. A witch is a witch. And let me tell you something. You got to decree and declare the word of God. He said he suffer a witch not to live. But some of y'all sitting up here running from witches. You running from warlocks. Tell my, oh, I'm just going to go in the corner and hide. Are you serious? God has given you power over every form of witchcraft. Woo, hallelujah. That's why people don't like me and I really don't care. You know why they don't like the ministry? As long as they getting what they want to get from the ministry. But as soon as they get exposed, y'all not going to talk back to me. As soon as their witchcraft gets exposed, they no longer like me. I'm fine with that. Because guess what? They ain't like Jesus either. Woo. Come on, somebody. As long as he was healing the sick and raising the dead, y'all not going to talk back to me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As long as he was doing everything that they wanted him to do. But the moment he went in the temple and turned over the tables, hallelujah, they began to say, wait a minute, what's going on? Is that the Messiah? Yeah, that's still the Messiah. He's angry. Hallelujah. Because they were doing things in the temple that they should not have been doing. Y'all not going to talk back to me on tonight. And when the enemy gets exposed, let me tell you something. I don't care who the enemy is working through. Satan is Satan all day long. And you got to call it out for exactly what it is. Come on. Jesus went in the temple. And he said, my house shall be a house of prayer. Hallelujah. And not a den of thieves. 
They were selling the people stuff that was broken. They were selling broken turtle doves and they, they, they were selling items and animals that were, were no good. Taking the people's money. Come on. Ooh, I felt the release right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God is even exposing those who are taking the people's money in this hour. Hallelujah. And manipulating the people of God. Now, I'm not saying don't tithe. And I'm not saying don't give. You better tithe. You better give. Come on. But I'm talking about being manipulated to the point to where after you've tithed, after you've given, hallelujah, now they're asking for more. Come on. Oh, y'all not going to talk. Oh, it's quiet. Y'all not going to talk back to me tonight. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Let's keep the fire. Hey, let's keep the fire burning tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stop allowing the enemy to have power over you. You have power over the enemy. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, it says the weapons of our warfare, mm, they are not carnal. Hallelujah. But they are mighty through God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, to the pulling down of strongholds. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Casting down imaginations. Woo. Hallelujah. And every high thing mm -hmm, that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Casting down imaginations. Woo. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Casting down those things that the devil is trying to make you believe. Hey, hallelujah. You better believe what God says. You better believe, oh God, in God's word. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Glory. Hey, Shatan Baha. Hallelujah. Let me pull up this scripture for y'all. Because I got to read a little bit further. Listen. Listen, people of God. Mm. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have power. Mm. Glory to God. And God has given you weapons. See, 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 let me encourage you right here. God bless you. God bless you, uh, Prophet. Amen. Prophet Taylor. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. I want to stay right here for a minute. Because so many people believe that they can fight this battle in the flesh. You would never win. You would never win against the enemy in your flesh. For God has given us weapons. He's given us prayer. Come on. Hallelujah. Where's the intercessors tonight? Hey, it's 1210 in the morning. Hallelujah. Some intercessors should be on a prayer watch right now. He's giving you praise. Woo. Sometimes you got to send Judah first. Hey, hey. I told the church Sunday, we're going to praise God because I feel the victory. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to send Judah first. Sometimes you got to praise God. Hallelujah. Before the battle is won. Woo, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Sometimes you got to release a prayer. Mm, hallelujah. Then release a praise. I feel the Holy Ghost moving right here and encouraging somebody. And he's giving you instructions on what to do in the midst of your warfare, in the midst of your battle. Hallelujah. In the midst of you going through. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you got prayer. And let me tell you something. If you're an intercessor, you need to be praying in the spirit. Glory to God. God bless you, Minister Adam. You need to be praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of that praying on the surface. No, 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 no. Because the devil understands what you're saying. True God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got to pray in the spirit. And if God has given you the gift of tongues, you have to pray in tongues. Come on. Ha. Hallelujah. Sometimes when I'm praying in the spirit, I'm praying for almost an hour, literally. Hey, hallelujah. And I can see God knocking down every barrier. Mm. Hallelujah. I can see God destroying my enemies. Hey, hi, did, 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 your child. And I'm talking about in the realm of the spirit. I'm not talking about with my natural eyes. Hey, because God got angels. Woo. Who am I talking to? God has angels. Mm. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. God. Hey, how you did it to the old shot? You got to know that God has angels and those angels will war on your behalf. Come on. God has Gabriel and Michael. Let me tell you something. They ain't dead. God still has angels. If you read your Bible, the Bible tells us that there are angels ascending and descending from heaven all the time. 
Come on. Come on. I know this doctrine ain't being preached no more because don't nobody want to really tell the truth. Come on, y'all, y'all, hey, hallelujah. N nobody wants to really tell the truth anymore. Hallelujah. Everything is prophecy and everything is, oh, you're going to be blessed. Come on. And everything is, oh, you're you about to get a house and you're about to get a car. You're about to be married. You're about to be rich. All of this foolishness. The Bible is true. Ha, huh? hallelujah. And God's word stands. Let me tell you something. If you don't know how to fight the good fight of faith, God ain't going to give you nothing. Hey, hallelujah, because you're going to have to learn how to protect what God has given you. You're going to have to learn how to protect. You even got to protect the anointed. Hey, hallelujah, which means you can't give your pearls over to the swine. I was telling the church on the prayer line, you can't pray for everybody in this season. Some of y'all want to pray for everybody. You might be praying for a witch. You might be praying for somebody that God has released his judgment upon. Huh? And, and he's giving them time to repent. So instead of you going in because they sick and you're like, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, oh, God, we come against this sickness. And God say, no, 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 no. I allow this sickness to be upon him or her until they get to a place of repentance. Can, can I just teach the word tonight? Come on, Hezekiah. Hey, hi, you did the old shot. So y'all not, y'all not ready tonight. Hallelujah. Hezekiah was sick unto death. Oh God. Hallelujah. God wanted to get Hezekiah's attention. So he sent this prophet. Woo, hallelujah. He, he sent the prophet to tell him, Hezekiah, if you do not get your house in order, the sickness that's upon you shall be unto your death. And the Bible says, hallelujah, after Hezekiah got the word of the Lord, hey, hallelujah, he turned his face to the wall. And he repented before God. He got into a place, hallelujah, where he turned away from everything and everybody else. Y'all not going to talk back to me on tonight. Hallelujah. Sometimes, oh, yes, we're shifting right here. Come on, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes when there's a sickness upon your body, hallelujah, or something has come upon you, it is God who has allowed that sickness to come upon you. But he'll send the prophet. Hallelujah. To tell you to get your house in order. Hey, hallelujah. Hezekiah did not wait. Hezekiah didn't pick up the phone and call his friend. Come on. Hezekiah didn't even, didn't even ask anybody else. What do you think? Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hezekiah. Amen. The Bible said he turned his face to the wall. Mm. Hallelujah. Then God spoke back to the prophet. Hallelujah. And said, go and tell Hezekiah. Hey, hallelujah. That I'm going to add 15 more years uh, to his life. Uh, all because he turned and repented. I wait. Because somebody needs to realize. Listen, listen, listen. You, you got to come back to God. Hallelujah. Even though, yes, Lord, I hear you. Even those of you that lost your power. Can, can I be real tonight? Some of you lost your power. And you know you lost your power. Do you know sin will cause you to lose your power? Can I just teach for two minutes right here? Sin will cause you to lose your power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what happens when you are in sin... Jesus have mercy. The devil has now stepped in and God has stepped away. I wait. Sin separates us from God. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook Live. Sin separates us from God. I don't know why I got to stay right here, but let me just stay right here. Somebody needs to understand that when you allow the enemy to come into your life, when you allow sin to come in your life and overtake you, 
The enemy now has access. And you're going to have to get to a place of true repentance, which means you confess your sin, which means you turn from the sin and you turn back to God. I don't know who that's for, but receive the word of the Lord. And sin will cause you to lose your power. Yeah. I remember when I was in sin. And God told me, he said, Carmen, you better come out. He said, come out from among them and be ye separated, saith the Lord. And he gave me time to come out. So I know that God is giving some of you time to come out. Who am I talking to right here? Mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. He, he's giving you time to come out. So what you need to do now is you need to come out. Come out from among them and be ye separated. Be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Woo! Jesus have mercy. Hallelujah. God is speaking to somebody on tonight. Be not entangled again. The Bible says again. Be not entangled again. Jesus have mercy. There's somebody on this live tonight. You know that God is telling you to come out. There's a confirmation right there. Sharon said, this is for me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I knew God was speaking to somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I give God praise. Hallelujah. Because you know what, Sharon? God wants to take you somewhere in him. Huh? Hallelujah. And what I see in the realm of the spirit, even as I said your name, Sharon, the enemy is, is coming to sin. He, he's sending a counterfeit. Jesus, have mercy. I, I see in the spirit a counterfeit. See, mm, before the real thing comes, Sharon, the enemy sends a counterfeit. And it's to and it's to make you give in to your flesh. Jesus have mercy. But see, when it's God, you did it your shot. When when it's God, you will know because it comes with peace. It, it doesn't come with pressure. Mm. Jesus have mercy. It, it, it doesn't come with pressure. Ah, who am I talking to right here? Hallelujah. It, it doesn't come with pressure. Mm. Anytime you are being pressured into doing something that's the adversary that's not god that's not god no 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 when it's god it comes with peace hallelujah when it's god it comes with reassurance <laughs> hallelujah when it's god hallelujah glory to god let me tell you something not only peace not reassurance but guess what it comes with clarity you're not going to be confused Mm -mm. That's right, Minister Dexter. Knowing the difference. Hallelujah. Understanding. Hallelujah. That, that if God has put something before you. Oh, God. Listen, Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. He said, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hallelujah. Anything that God has for you. Listen, listen, listen. The Bible says the blessings of the Lord, Sharon. Hallelujah. Make it rich and add if no sorrow. If you crying all the time. That's not God. Come on, Sister Adina. Hallelujah. If you're crying all the time and you're, you're sorrowful all the time, who am I talking to right here? It's not God. You're trying to force something that God is not even in. And when God has stepped away from something, his spirit is no longer there. And when people don't understand, let me slow this train down because it's souls in the balance. Let, 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 let me slow this train down. I'm, I'm not I'm not into the hype. In other words, I'll continue to preach and I'll continue to go all the way in. But right now it's souls in the balance. Some of you are one decision away from messing up. 
And God is telling me to tell you to slow down. Step back. And look and see what is in front of you. Pay attention to the adversity. Pay attention. Mm, Jesus have mercy. To, 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 to the confusion. My Lord, my Lord, there are some of you that are confused. Listen, the Bible says that God is not the author of confusion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan brings confusion. Jesus, have mercy. So, so, so wherever the devil is, there's confusion. One day you up, one day you down. <laughs> one day you're happy, the next day you're sad. And I'm not saying that you won't go through when God is in the midst, but I will say this. There are many of you that are getting ready to make the wrong decision. And God says he's warning you tonight so that you'll make the right decision. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She said, the devil has been at me so bad, but you have gave me confirmation to God be the glory. Listen, it's your life that matters now. Mm. Hallelujah. Not your happiness. Oh God. Somebody hear God tonight. A lot of times people want to be so happy that they settle for less. Jesus have mercy. And that's what I see in the spirit. God says you cannot settle for less. Settling for less means that you're going to rob yourself of what God promised you. Mm. The Bible says they that wait. Hallelujah. Upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Mm. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Wait, I say again on the Lord. Huh? Because in your waiting, church, woo, this is for the men and the women. In your waiting, God's going to strengthen you. Hey, I told you all the devil is coming to take your power. Mm, hallelujah. God says in the midst of warfare, learn to apply pressure. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He, he says, listen, in the midst of you going through, learn to apply pressure. Listen, listen, you are a warrior. Hallelujah. I feel, I feel strength for somebody tonight. Listen, you are a warrior. You're not defeated. You had the victory. God bless you, Crystal. Amen. You have the victory. Come on. You are an ambassador. Hallelujah. You are an ambassador. What does that mean? Hallelujah. God has given you jurisdiction. Hallelujah. And authority. Woo. Hallelujah. Some of you have jurisdiction and authority. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Many of you are queens and you are kings. But you have to understand that when you are a king, hallelujah, you got to understand your kingship. Hallelujah. You are the king of the castle. Hallelujah. Brother Chris Smith. Hallelujah. And if it doesn't come through you, hallelujah, then it can't go through nobody else. Mm. Jesus have mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the man hears from God. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the woman becomes subject unto the man. Oh God. Hallelujah. So women, yes, we hear God. But if there's a man in your life, if you have a husband, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are subject to the authority of your husband. And if not, then you become a Jezebel. Hallelujah. And Jezebel is the spirit of control. But let's go a little bit deeper. Jezebel wants to kill the prophets. Oh, God. We just hit a nail on the head right there. I said Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel comes to kill the prophet. That spirit of control wants to kill you. It wants to bind you up, have you in a box, make you feeling like you don't hear God, make you feeling like you ain't the king. Come on, make, make you to feel like you, you ain't got no type of authority. Loose here. Hi, did it in your shot. In the name of Jesus, you got to tell that Jezebel spirit, you got to go. Woo. Jesus, have mercy. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. And let me encourage some of you. Jezebel is not just a woman. 
Listen, I, I've seen Jezebel spirits operating in men. Higher did it the old shot in the name of Jesus. That's just like a witch. A witch is a spirit. It's not a gender. They are male witches, just like it's female witches. It doesn't matter. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Those who work witchcraft, though, are going to die by fire. And, and you got to take your power and your authority that God has given you. And you have to say to the enemy, you have no power over me. You have no power over my children. Ah, you have no power over my finances. Hey, you have no power over my ministry. Hey, you got to tell the devil. Ah, hallelujah. I see you. And I want you to take your best shot. Because there are more that are for us than those who are against us. Woo! Who am I encouraging right here? Hallelujah. Because God got angels. Hey, I'm going to say it again till it hits your spirit. God has angels that fight for his chosen vessels. There are angels, hallelujah, that war on your behalf, church. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, but you are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. Come on. You, you, you are a, 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 a holy nation. Come on. You are a peculiar people. Hallelujah. That has been called out of darkness. Hey. Into his marvelous light. Woo! I feel God moving right here. Hallelujah. I feel God strengthening somebody. Amen. This early morning. Hallelujah. The man of God said, I felt that. I felt that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because when you are the chosen of God. Mm, hallelujah. When, when God has chosen you. Hey. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. He, he, he deems you as royalty. Oh, God, do you know those of us who are royal? Hallelujah. We walk in royalty. Do you know that means God will give you his best? Mm. You don't have to settle for less. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are a holy nation. Glory to God, which means we walk circumspectly to the word of God. Come on. Come on. Come on. We walk. Hallelujah. According to the word of God. God, you are peculiar, which means that you don't look like everybody else. Hey, hallelujah. You don't walk like everybody else. You don't talk like everybody else. Hey, hallelujah. God has made you peculiar, which means you are distinct. In other words, hey, glory to God. Everybody can be doing everything of the world, but you're set apart. Woo. Come on, sister Anita. Ha! Ah, hallelujah. Somebody shout, I'm chosen. Hey, and I know who I am. Glory. Hallelujah. Because when you know who you are, Minister Dexter, hey, hallelujah, you won't settle for less. Oh, I feel God moving right here for somebody. Mm. You won't settle, hallelujah, for less. You'll be able to come out from among them and be ye separated. You'll be able to say, you know what? I can't do that. I can't be there. Hey, hallelujah. I am set apart. Ooh, I am chosen by God. Hallelujah. There's a stamp of approval upon my head. Hallelujah. And I can only do what God is requiring for me to do. Mm. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Mm. I want to tell you in closing that the devil is afraid of you. Oh, God. Hallelujah. I got to tell you, people of God, the enemy is afraid of you. Hey. The enemy is petrified when you step in the room. Because he knows that if you open your, if you open your mouth. Mm, hey, hi, did it your shot. Oh, God, I feel a release right here for somebody. Listen, the it oh, glory to God. The enemy knows that the moment you open your mouth, oh, hallelujah, and you start speaking the word of God, mm, hallelujah. The Bible says in John 1 and 1, hallelujah, in the beginning, hallelujah, mm, 
Hallelujah was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. Hallelujah. So in the beginning was the word and Jesus is the word. Hallelujah. So the devil backs down to the word. And the more you speak the word, hey, hallelujah, the more the enemy got to back up. Hallelujah. The, hey, God, the more you speak the word over your life, hallelujah, the enemy got to flee. Hey, the more you speak the word over your finances, the more you speak the word over your family, the more you speak the word over your children, the more you speak the word over your marriage, the more you speak the word of God, the devil got to back up because he knows. That Jesus is the word. Woo! Hallelujah. 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 He knows that Jesus is the word. Hey. So where there is warfare, you got to apply some pressure now. Don't back up. Don't retreat. And surely don't turn your back on the adversary. Ho! Oh! Don't you turn your back on Satan. Whew. That's like turning your back on the enemy. Don't Listen, hey, glory to God. My daddy taught me that. My father taught me. He said, Carmen, don't you ever turn your back. Hey, hi, did it, did it, oh, God, hallelujah. He said, don't you ever, ah, glory to God, hallelujah, because when you know there's an enemy at work, Woo. Don't you turn your back. Mm -mm. You ain't going to snuff me out. <laughs> hey, God, hallelujah. But you keep your eyes on the enemy and you keep your mouth full of the word. Hey, hallelujah. And after a while, you're going to see Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. Vindicate for you. You're going to see Jesus fight for you. The Bible says, oh God, in the word of God, Jesus says, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord of hosts. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In other words, glory to God. Jesus, hallelujah, is encouraging you tonight to let you know that this battle don't belong to you. Hallelujah. But this battle belongs to God. But in the midst of the battle, don't you retreat. In the midst of the battle, don't you give up. In the midst of the battle, don't you throw in the towel. In the midst of the battle, you stand flat foot and you apply pressure now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel strength for somebody tonight. Hey, you, you, you don't back out. Hallelujah. You surely don't turn your back on the enemy. Mm. Hallelujah. But what you do is you deny him. Hallelujah. And you deny the works of Satan. Glory to God. I'm going to say that again. Hallelujah. You deny him. You deny the devil. Come on. Come on. And you deny his works. You come against the works of Satan. Ha! Ah, oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm giving some of y'all, hallelujah, some prophetic keys in the, in the realm of the spirit. Mm, hallelujah. So even when you pray. Hallelujah. You begin to bind the works of Satan. Hey, hallelujah. By the power and the blood of Jesus. You begin to take authority. Hallelujah. In the realm of the spirit. Glory to God. When you are in warfare. Jesus have mercy. Mm, hey, I feel God strengthened. Hey, how you did it? Oh, God. Hallelujah. I feel God strengthening somebody right here. Hallelujah. Just when you thought God wasn't hearing your prayers, he told me to tell you this early morning. He hears you. That's why he sent me to deliver this word to you as a reminder that, yes, you might be in warfare, but you got to apply some pressure now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you are this close to your breakthrough. Glory to God. You are this close. Hallelujah to your next blessing. You are this close, people of God. Mm. Hallelujah to your divine healing. Hey, so if you give up now, then you're going to forfeit the blessing. Somebody put in the comments, I ain't giving up. Hey, hallelujah, I've been strengthened tonight. Woo. I ain't giving up. <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Hey, hey, somebody shout, I ain't giving up. Ho, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's too much DNA of God in, hey, in my blood. Hey, God, hallelujah. I got the DNA of my heavenly father. Oh, y'all not going to talk back to me. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look like my daddy. I sound like my heavenly father. Oh, y'all not going to talk back to me on this early morning. I need somebody to talk back to me, hallelujah, and say, hey, God, and say, I look just like my heavenly father, hey, he's given me power, Woo. hallelujah, to crush, he's given you power, hallelujah, hey, God, to look and live, he's given you power, mm. hallelujah, over the adversary, he's given you power, even over the last attack, oh my God, hallelujah, God has given many of you power, he's even given you power to stay True. Hey, Jesus. Hi. I see some of you now, you're going to be able to stand. The Bible says, after you done all to stand. Mm. Stand, therefore, in the liberty that God has set you free. Mm. Somebody shout, I'm going to stand now. Hey. Somebody shout, I got to stand now. Hey, I, I done been through too much. Oh, I, I done, oh God, hallelujah. Somebody shout, I done been through too much. Woo. I got some medals in the realm of the spirit. Hey, hey, hallelujah. You might not see them. Glory to God, but I got some medals. Mm. My Lord, hey, how you did it to your And what that means is you done fought some battles. Hallelujah, that God allowed you to fight, but you have won some battles too. Oh, God, come on, Elder Moore. Hallelujah, you have won some battles. Mm, glory to God. Hallelujah, with the help and the strength of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody shout, I'm going to continue to stand. Hey, I done been through too much. Ho, oh, and I got a testimony and I got a story to tell. Hey, hey, and some of y'all got books to write. I hear you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, some of you got books to write. Come on, some of you got messages that you got to write. Hallelujah, come on, Elder Moore. Hallelujah, it ain't over for you with ministry. Mm. Hey, for there is a rebirthing. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, Elder Moore, there is a rebirthing. Hallelujah. That God has just for you. There's a rebirthing, even a ministry, Elder Moore. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I hear the scripture, though he slay me. Mm, yet will I trust him. Hey, hey, hallelujah. I don't know if that's your story, Elder Moore. <laughs> hallelujah. I don't know if sometimes you feel like Job. Mm, glory to God. But that's what I heard. Hallelujah. To give to you, Elder Moore. Hallelujah. It's just like when Job was afflicted. Oh, hallelujah. He went through so much. My God. The Bible says that his body, hallelujah, was full of boils. Glory to God. And, and he went through. She said, I say it all the time. Look at God. Hey, I don't even talk to the woman of God. Hallelujah. But I heard it in my spirit. Mm, hallelujah. Though he slay me, yet will, yet, 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 yet. Oh, God. Mm, hallelujah. I feel like shouting woman of God because I feel that in my spirit for you. Hallelujah. Yet will I trust him. Hey, he has delivered me. Hey, hallelujah from the snare and the fowler. Oh, God, he has delivered me. I hear Psalm 91. Hey, glory to God for you, Elder Moore. Hallelujah. You have learned that even in the midst of everything, that he's also your protector. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 That's for somebody else on tonight. You realize now that God is your protector. You realize that God is your all in all. You realize that God is going before. Hey, that he's, hey, God, that he's going. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost moving. Hallelujah. That God is going before you. Mm. Hallelujah. He is Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, my banner. Hallelujah. Which means he goes before me. Hey, and he prepares the way for me. Oh, oh I feel a release. Huh? I said, I feel a release for y'all tonight. I feel a mighty release. Come on, lift your hands and tell the Lord, thank you. Hey, I, I feel a release tonight. Ho, oh, I feel a mighty release of strength tonight. Hallelujah. I, hey, God. Hallelujah. Some of you needed the strength to keep on going. Hallelujah. Some of you needed the strength and you needed to be reminded that God is going before you. Hey, and he will pave the way for you. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Mm. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He knows the way that I take. Oh my God. Hallelujah. He knows the way. Hallelujah. That I take. He knows the way that you are going. He knows the journey you are on, people of God. Woo! He said it before you. Hey! Hallelujah for the steps. Oh, y'all got me preaching tonight, but it's all right. Hallelujah. The steps of a good man. Hey, hallelujah. The steps of a good woman. Ho, oh, I ordered by the Lord. Hey, somebody show he ordered my steps a long time ago. Hallelujah. I make no apologies for where he's taking me either. Come on, somebody. Hey, hallelujah. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. In the midst of everything, I've learned to give him praise. In the midst of everything, I've learned to glorify him. In the midst of everything, I've learned not to give up. In the midst of it all. Hey, I've learned to press my way. Hallelujah. Come on, Jesus. Oh, God. The Bible says in Philippians, hey, mm. Hallelujah. Philippians 3 and 13. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, God, I count not myself to be apprehended, but this one thing I do. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. This one thing I do. He says, I'm going to make it personal in this season. Hallelujah. This one thing I do. He says, forgetting those things that are behind me. Hey, hallelujah. And I'm reaching forth to the things that are before. He says, I press. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Be encouraged, church. Hallelujah. It's time to press. Hey, God. Hallelujah. God has strengthened you, Crystal. Hallelujah. So now that you can press. He says, I press towards the mark. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. For the prize of the high calling of God that is in Christ Jesus. Woo. Mm. Hey. Shatan Navaha. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. The fire of God is all in my belly. Hey, hey. Hi, did it, did it, oh, shy. Glory. Hey, Shatan number high. I know y'all feel the fire of God. Hey, Oh, God, I know you feel the fire. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. La Tiffany, I know you feel the fire of God tonight. Hallelujah. The fire comes. Hallelujah. To do a few things. Oh, my God. The fire comes. Hallelujah. To burn up those impurities and burn up those things that are in front of you and in your life that cause you to be stuck and stagnated. But then the fire, hallelujah, of God comes to set you ablaze. Come on, Sister Anita. Hallelujah. And take you further. Hallelujah than where you've ever been. Oh my God. Hallelujah. God sends his fire. Mm, hallelujah. To set us on fire. Oh, shoo, God. Mm. Higher did it the old shot. Woo, God, somebody shout, send your fire. Woo, somebody shout, send your fire, Lord. Come on, Alanda. Hallelujah. Hey, send your fire, Jesus, uh, and keep me on fire for you, God. From this day forward, I will not back down. Hallelujah. I will stand my ground, uh, and in the midst of warfare, I'm going to apply pressure. Oh, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, because uh, the Bible says, woo, mm, Hallelujah, that the kingdom of heaven, I'm going to say it again, suffers violent, but the violent take it back by force. Oh, God, there are some things you got to take back, people of God. Hey, and the Bible goes on to say, yes, Lord, I hear you. Hallelujah, in Joel chapter 2. Oh, my God, hallelujah. In Joel chapter 2, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. He says, and I will restore, I feel restoration. Ooh, for some of you tonight, all because you chose not to die, all because you chose not to give up, all because you, oh, God, because you chose, hallelujah, not to throw in in the towel. Mm. He's a Shatanda Baha. Yes, hey, hi, you did it, did you, Osha? Oh, yes, God, I, I feel revival right here. Hi, you did it, did you, Osha? Because somebody's gonna be revived. Hallelujah, in the spirit. Hey, hi, you did it, did you, Osha? Oh, God, you're being revived right now. Hallelujah. Some of you want to get up from where you are. Hallelujah. If you want to get up, get up. Oh, God, if you want to praise him, praise him. Come on, if you want to bless him, bless him. Oh, God, whatever God is telling you to do. Oh, God, because he's about to restore you. Hey, who I say he's about to, oh, I, I say, hey, whew. come on, sister Tessa. Hallelujah. You got to make your way back to the church, Tessa. Hey, hi, you did it the old shot. Cause there's another impartation. Oh my God, that God has for you, Tessa. Mm. And your children. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Woo, God, hallelujah. The word of God tells us, he says that I will restore unto you the years. Woo, I'm trying to get off this live. Hallelujah, because I'm almost through. Hallelujah, he says, and I will restore unto you. Hallelujah, the years. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Hey, 
Oh God, Hallelujah. Hmm. Hi, did 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 you say? Who Raymond Sukoda Bashe? Hmm. Yes. Hey. Hi, did 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 you say? He. Hey. Yes, God. Some of you lost some things over the last few years. God says I'm coming to restore. Ho! He says, he says, I'm coming to restore. Hey, he says, he says, tell my people I'm coming to restore. Hallelujah. He says, I'm coming to restore the years Ooh, that the locust and the caterpillar, the palmer worm have stolen from you. Mm. Hey, hallelujah. And you shall eat in plenty. Ooh. Hallelujah. God is about to fill your cup and it's about to overflow. Hallelujah. The Lord says some of you, yes, God, I hear you. He's about to prepare a table. Mm. Oh, God. Hallelujah. In the presence of your enemies. Oh, he's about to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Woo. Come on, Psalm 23. Hey, hey, hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd. Oh, y'all got me preaching tonight. Hey, I'm trying to get off this live. Oh, God, the Lord is. Hey, come on, Sister Cynthia Marie. Ha, you know God. To, hey, you know him to be your shepherd. Hallelujah. That means he leads and guides you into all truth. Hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me. Ho, oh, to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Hmm. Ooh, I feel like shouting right here. Hey, hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. He restores my soul. Hey, he, he restores my soul. Hey, somebody, you need your soul to be restored tonight. Hey, hallelujah. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yes, though I walk through the valley. Woo, hallelujah. Of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Mm. Oh, I will. I'm going to say it again. I will fear. Hey, shoo, God. Hallelujah. Y'all getting your breakthrough. Hallelujah. I will fear. Hallelujah, no evil. Hey, for God is with me. Ho, oh, his rod and his staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest woo, a table. Mm. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, God, I feel God moving right here. God prepares a table before me in the presence woo, of my enemies. Thou anoints my head. Hey, hey, how you did it in your shot? Oh, God, hallelujah. I said, thou anoints my head. Hey, hey. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Hall I said, he anoints. He, he anoints my head with oil. Ho, ho. Come on, some. Hey, Shatan Baha. Hallelujah. He anoints my head with oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. My cup. Oh, God. Hallelujah. It, it runs over. Mm, hallelujah. Hall hey. Oh, God. Mm. Hey. Hi, did it the old shot? Woo, Rekataya Bashe. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thou anoints. Ooh, I hear your Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thou anoints my head with oil. Mm. Hallelujah. My cup runneth over. Surely. Ooh, can somebody put in the comments? Surely. Surely, 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 surely. Y'all got me preaching this early morning. I gotta go to bed. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Surely. Goodness and mercy. <laughs> shall follow me. Woo it doesn't matter what people say about you. Hey, hey, because goodness and mercy is still following you. Ho, oh, come on. It doesn't matter how they talk about you. Woo, hallelujah, because goodness and mercy is still following you. Ho, oh, I told y'all God got angels. So hallelujah, and goodness and mercy are following you. Hey, surely goodness and mercy mm, shall follow me all the days of my life. <laughs> and I will dwell. <laughs> Come on, church. Come on, chosen vessels of God. Mm, hallelujah. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Mm. Ha, glory to God. The enemy tried to pluck some of you out of God's hand. Ho, oh, but you stood your ground. Hmm. Oh, I felt that right in the pit of my belly. Oh, God. Ha. Remind Sukkot Abashay. Hallelujah. One thing you got to understand when you are chosen. The enemy doesn't have that much authority mm, to pluck you out of God's hand. The only way 
God will take his hand off of your life. As if you walk completely away from him. Mm. And I'm talking to the chosen vessels of the Lord. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Mm. Whew, I feel the presence of God. Listen, you, you, you're not going anywhere. You, you're not going anywhere. Hallelujah. I want to tell about 12 of you tonight that God got a hook in you. Oh, I'm telling y'all, if we was in church, that'd be a praise break right there. I'm telling you, I'd have just took off. I would have just took off right there. I'd have just took off. Because God got a hook in you. Hey! Come on, KJ. Hallelujah. God. So, so even, oh God, even when you try to get away, mm, you can't go far. Hey! Holla. I said you can't. You, you can't go far. <laughs> Hey, hallelujah. God got a hook in many of you. Mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. That's why he woke some of y'all up to hear this word. Hallelujah. And some of you was on your way to sleep. But you said, let me get on that live. I need to hear what this woman of God is talking about. Hallelujah. And some of you are my members. Glory to God. Some of you are covenant partners. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. So this word is right on time for many of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, he is amazing. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. God is so, listen, hey, hallelujah. When I think, mm, Sister Katrina, who, hallelujah. When I think mm, of the goodness, whoo, hallelujah, hallelujah. Even when I don't do anything to deserve it. Hey, hey, mm, glory to God. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, hallelujah, and all that he's done. Thank you, daughter Chanel. Hallelujah. There are the four ways that you all can sow to seal this word. Glory to God. Mm, hallelujah. When I think, woo, when I think of his goodness, mm, hallelujah. Mm, glory to God. When I think, hallelujah, of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done. Ooh, think about the times he kept you when you ain't even want to be kept. Oh, think about the times, hallelujah, that God spared your life. Ooh, you heard it was an accident on the highway. Hallelujah. But God caused a, 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 a distraction. Hallelujah. So that you would be slowed down. Glory to God. So that that accident would not be involved with you. Mm, that you would not be in the midst of that accident. Come on, Ambrina. Mm. Hallelujah. You have many testimonies. Glory to God. Mm, hallelujah. Mm, hey, hallelujah. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Come on, Sister Cynthia Marie. She has a powerful testimony. Amen. She was healed. Hallelujah. At our church. Glory to God. Hallelujah. She was healed at our church and God is still moving. Hallelujah. In her life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, the things that we deserve. Hallelujah. We didn't receive. Hey, Whew, that's a praise break right there. Hallelujah. I cannot pin the comment. Amen. And that's all right. Glory to God. Those of you, amen, that desire to sow into this ministry. Glory to God. There are four ways that you all can sow to seal this word. Amen. You can sow on Cash App. You can sow on PayPal. You can sow on Zelle, and you can also sow on our ministry's website. Amen. The ministry's cash app is dollar sign P-I-P-W ministry. All right. It's a pink flyer. Amen. It's a pink flyer. So make sure that when you go to cash app, you do see that pink flyer there on the cash app. Amen. Hallelujah. PayPal.me forward slash prophetic impact. Hallelujah. Come on, seal the word. Seal this word. Hallelujah. Don't let the enemy come and pluck it up. Because this is the time where the enemy is coming. And he's coming to pluck up the word, saints. If you read in the book of Matthew, it speaks about it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That when God, hallelujah, has sown the word on your heart. Woo! Hallelujah. That the enemy comes to pluck it up. Jesus, have mercy. And that's where we get the four types of soil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the four types of soil, it talks about your heart. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, 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 the one type of soil, amen, it is the soil that is the stony ground. And, and this soil, everybody has trampled on it. There's no deepness into the to the to the ground of that soil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and so what happens is if you have that type of, of heart, nothing can come in and nothing can go out. Amen. Then you have the, the, the stony, you have the stony, then you have the, 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 the soil that has the thorns. Amen. And I see people dropping off. This is good. This is good. Because <laughs> when you start talking about giving, people don't want to give. That they, they have no desire to sow. And so this is good. Amen. We, we're going to knock some people off. <laughs> is that all right? Hallelujah. And only those, glory to God, who really, amen, receive this word will stay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> glory to God. But get your best seed in the ground. I'm probably talking to about seven of you tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Out of the 30, amen, I see seven. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me seven of you are going to sow on tonight. Uh-huh. Glory to God. And so you have the, 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 the soil that has the thorns in it. And see, that, that type of soil, when the seed is planted, because the thorns are there, it comes to choke the seed. Mm. See that? So, so, so it's the thorny heart. Ah, come on. And, and so what happens is when the seed is planted, those thorns, those weeds come to choke the seed. Come on. And then you have, <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. Then you have the soil that has some deepness to it, but not enough. Mm. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It's to the point to where the seed would sit right there. Mm. But, but it doesn't have enough deepness in it for that seed to penetrate into the soil. Then you have the fourth type of soil. God bless you, Sister Anita. I'm going to pray over every seed in just a minute. Hallelujah. There's one. Amen. God says seven tonight. Hallelujah. God says seven. There's another. Thank you, Phyllis. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. So there's five more that's going to sow tonight. Glory to God. You got the fourth type of soil. Hallelujah. And the fourth type of soil. Amen. Glory to God. It is the soil that falls on good ground ah come on somebody hallelujah come on sister adina hallelujah you are an abundant giver glory to god and god's gonna bless you hallelujah for your giving woman of god because it comes from here hallelujah you're similar to me i don't question it when god tells me to sow a hundred dollar seed i don't question it when God tells me to sow a thousand dollar seed, I don't question it. Amen. Yes, I've sown thousand dollar seeds. Amen. Amen. And it could have been all I had in my account. But I, I love God. Hallelujah. And I love him so much. Hallelujah. That I trust him. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't think y'all hear me. I, I love him so much that I trust him. So if he tells me to sow eight hundred dollars, what am I going to do? I'm going to sow $800. I'm not going to question it. Hey, glory to God because he has my heart. Mm. Hallelujah. I have the fourth type of soil. <laughs> Hallelujah. Which, which is the soil that, amen, when the seed is planted, mm, glory to God, it falls on good ground. The Bible says you will reap some 30, some 60, or some hundredfold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When your heart is right. Mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. When you really love God. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When, when, you're, when your mind, mm, hallelujah, it is stayed on him. Woo. Hallelujah. You just want more of God. So you learn to be obedient even in your giving. You know, when I see people, Sister Anita, that don't give, their heart is stony. 
that they have a cold heart. And, and so giving softens your heart, people of God. The more you give, the more your heart becomes softened. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you what I know because then you'll be a giver by nature. Hallelujah. And God will bless you. Oh God. Mm, hallelujah. I'm talking about to the point to where he going to bless your socks off. <laughs> like literally. Can I share a testimony right here? I want to share a quick testimony to encourage the business owners. All right. I remember when I started the travel business. When I first got started, God told me to sow a seed for my business. Thank you, Ambrina. Amen. There's the fourth seed right there. Amen. So there's three more. All right. There's three more that have to sow tonight. Listen, God says seven. All right. I'm going to stay on until seven. All right. I have to be obedient to the Lord. Amen. I got to obey him. Hallelujah. And so when I came into the travel business, there's another one. Amen. So that's five. So there's two more. Amen. That There's two more that have to sow tonight. Seal it. Seal the word. Amen. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. <laughs> hey, glory to God. Your life depends on it now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. I'm going to sow on this word too. How about that? Hey, and I ain't sowing pennies either. I ain't sowing. Hey, how you did the old shot? I'm not giving God crumbs either on this word. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Uh, let me check. Um, is it Sharon? Sharon, she said, did it come through? I'm sure it did. If you gave through Cash App, um, PIPW Ministry, was there a pink flyer there? I'm unable to check right now. Um, if there was a pink flyer, then the answer is yes, Sharon. Amen. The answer is yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's six. Amen. Thank you, Sister Katrina. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray over every seed in just a minute. There's one more. Hey, higher did it in the old shot. Glory to God. There's one more. Amen. Um, okay. Well, you, you sold into the right cash app. Amen. Amen. Um, there's some of you on Instagram. Release your seed tonight. Amen. Release your seed tonight and watch God. Watch God. Um, I just saw something in the spirit. Jesus had mercy. Mm. I'm going to release that to you, um, Sister Tophia, in just a minute. I just saw something when I read your name. Glory to God. Um, when I came into the travel business, I sold a seed for my business. And two years later, God has blessed tremendously. Um, I've helped over 100 people. Um, start their own home-based business and travel. I don't say that to boast. I give God praise because it wasn't me. It was all him. It was all God. He told me to come into the business and help my sister in Christ. I'm sharing this testimony for a reason. Because when God told me to come in and help her, I really didn't have an idea of what I'd be doing. I came in and I obeyed God. Mm. Can somebody put in the comments, obedience is greater than a sacrifice. Come on. Can, can somebody put in the comments, obedience is greater than a sacrifice. Ah, <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, obedience, mm. I need you to type it tonight. Obedience is greater than a sacrifice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sharon. And thank you so much, daughter Chanel, for giving the um, cash app and the ways to sow. I look back and if I would not have obeyed God, there's so many people that would probably never even have came into the business. And now they're making additional streams of income. Knowing that their families are blessed, their finances are blessed, hallelujah, car notes are being paid, mortgages, mortgage payments are being paid. I don't think y'all hear me. I'm talking about increase and I'm talking about overflow. I'm so grateful that I obey God. 
but I'm more grateful that I obey God with my seed. Because not only did I obey God by coming into the business to help my sister in Christ, and later on God helping me <laughs> to help other people, it's the fact that others are blessed. And so anytime you obey God and you obey his voice, he has to bless you. He has to prosper you because if that's the case, then God is a liar and he's not. The Bible says that God is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent. If God said it, he's going to do it. You just have to trust him at his word. Hallelujah. So I'm grateful, Alanda. Hallelujah, that I obeyed the Lord. Because increase and overflow has come. And it's nothing like becoming financially free. Because when you become financially free, you can help so many people. You can feed those who are hungry. You can help clothe those who are naked. In other words, those who don't have, you'll be able to help them and it, and it doesn't even hurt. Because you now have overflow. Hallelujah. You now have tapped into generational wealth. Just like there, yes, Lord, I hear you. Just like there are generational curses, there's something that is called generational wealth. Ooh. Mm. My Lord. <laughs> Y'all not going to talk back to me tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And your giving matters. Your seeds that you have sown will come back to you. Mm. The Bible says good measure. Press down. Shake it together. And running over shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure you have given, it shall be given back to you in return. Hallelujah. So, so I'm grateful Amen. Sister Dina's in the business. Sister Katrina's in the business. Prophet Chanel is in the business. Just to name a few. Glory to God. Sister Cynthia Marie. Amen. Is in the business. Hallelujah. Sister Anita is in the business. And she came right in. And she was like, I want to do travel. She was like, I want to do the travel side. She came right in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the travel. Amen. Um, glory to God. So I say all that to say this. Obey God. Obey God and watch him move on your behalf. Hallelujah. When I saw your name, Sister Tafia, I literally saw weeds, but I saw weeds around you. I don't know what you're facing. I don't know what you're going through, but I have to obey God. Amen. I have to be obedient to the Lord. Um, what I saw around you, woman of God, it was enough to make you discouraged. Um, it's enough to make you throw in the towel. It's enough to make you feel like you're possibly making the wrong decision. But I want to tell you as God's prophet, Sister Tafia, that in order, yes, Lord, I hear you, for these weeds and all of this stuff that is around you that is trying to literally choke you, and 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 stagnate the lord says stagnate stagnation yes god mm. to stagnate you woman of god it is designed to stop you it is designed to make you feel like you have not achieved what god told you you have achieved so you now woman of god have to take back your power and you cannot allow the enemy to crowd you any longer. God is going to clear some things 
and give you some space. That's what I see in the spirit. He's going to, he's going to give you some space because you're like, it's like just too much around you. And anytime things are around you, it can cause you to misjudge. It can cause you to miss the mark. It can cause you to interpret cor incorrectly. The Lord says, yes, God, I hear you. He wants you to have clear judgment in this season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He, he wants you to have clear judgment. Can you hear me? I just want to make sure that you're still on. <clears throat> you can hit a heart. You can say something. Just let me know you can hear me. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray out on Facebook Live in just a minute. Glory to God. Just waiting for the woman of God to respond. All right, maybe she's not there. I'm not sure. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I'm so glad, amen, that God is so concerned about us. Hallelujah. I remember when I, yes, Lord, I hear you. I remember when I prophesied to a lady on our prayer line and when I prophesied to her, I saw her sitting on the bed. This was years ago, sitting on the edge of her bed and she was crying. And she just couldn't stop crying, just couldn't stop crying. She just couldn't stop crying. And I told her, I said, I see you sitting on the edge of the bed and I just see you crying and crying and crying and crying. And the lady got upset and she unmuted her line and she said, I'm not crying. She said, I, I, I'm not even in a, and I'm not even in a sad state. And I said, ma'am, I said, I'm not saying that you're sad. I said, I'm just telling you what God is revealing to me. Right. And in the midst of it, she got upset and she got offended. And sure enough, three months later, she came to the prayer line. But by this time, her last name was different. I didn't even know who she was. She said her first and last name, and I, I just didn't recognize the name. And she said, prophetess, she said, you prophesied to me, and you said that you saw me sitting on the edge of my bed crying, and I couldn't stop. So at this moment when she's talking, I'm like, I don't remember. Literally, I didn't remember. You know, God was moving on the prayer line, and... It was an amazing call that night. And so I wasn't really focused on what she was saying, but I listened. And she said, I want to apologize to you. She said, because I got upset. She said, and I even blocked you from Facebook. I said, you did? <laughs> she said, yeah, because I was so happy. She said, but I want to tell you that I got married a month after you prophesied that to me. She said, and then my husband died. She said, we were not even married almost two months. She said, and it wasn't until. That's why I don't play with prophecy. <laughs> Ha! I say what God says. I say what he shows me. I don't play. I don't play with people. I don't play with their life. I don't play. Not at all. And she said, I lost my husband two months. She said, and it wasn't until I was sitting on the edge of my bed. She said, and I couldn't stop crying. She said, the word came back to me. That I would be sitting on the edge of my bed and I would be crying. She said, I just want to apologize to you because I got upset and I got offended. And I didn't believe that that was a true word. 
I said, I forgive you. I said, to be honest, I don't even remember. And that's what I told her that night. And I shared that when God gives it to me because sometimes we don't like the word. <laughs> but I'm so grateful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When, when, when God sent words to me that I didn't want to hear. Come on, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. He, he sent words of rebuke, words of correction. And I'm so glad. Hallelujah. That I had an ear to hear what the spirit of the Lord was saying unto me. To the point to where I received it. Even if it was a hard pill to swallow. <laughs> I just said, okay, God. Okay. If that's what you say, Lord. All right. I don't understand. But God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there were many times, amen, that I had to receive words that I didn't want to hear. And I thank God for it because it prepared me. It prepared me for the place that I'm in now where I'm able to prophesy and not even look at the faces of the people. I know what God is saying. Amen. And I teach in this ministry one prophetic word from the Lord can change your life. Mm. Hallelujah. One prophetic word from the Lord. It can shift you. Hallelujah. It can shift. Oh God. Hallelujah. It can shift you into the right place. Hallelujah. It can shoot you up to glory. Hallelujah. It can get you to a place of repentance. Jesus have mercy to the point to where you say, okay, God, I, I just need to do right now. I just, hey, glory, hallelujah. I just need to obey you now, hallelujah. And then when you receive that word and you get to a place of obedience, now you can see the fruit of your obedience. Amen, you'll, you'll start seeing the fruit of your obedience, hallelujah, and it's nothing like it, amen. So I thank God for each and every one of you. I thank God for this word on tonight. Listen, when the Lord gave it to me earlier today, before our business Zoom at 7, I was in his presence and, you know, just seeking the face of God. And he gave me this word. He said, tell my people when they are in the midst of warfare to apply pressure. Mm. Hallelujah. He said, and tell my people not to settle for less. Glory to God. But to stand flat foot and walk in authority. Hallelujah. So that is the word of the Lord concerning God's chosen vessels on tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Pray for my business, Pastor. Sure, I pray for your business, Sister Tessa. Amen. But the word of the Lord for you, Sister Tessa, is you need to come to the church, you and your children, for this impartation that God has for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So let us pray. I believe all seven have sown tonight. I'm not sure. I know we were at number six. All right, I believe one more person is going to sow. Amen. I sowed now and my stomach is on fire. Wow. 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 That's what you needed. Mm. Ha. Huh. Glory to God. That's mm. yeah. Oh, Jesus. That's that's exactly what you needed, Sister Ambrina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you all, obedience is greater than a sacrifice. Amen. And as I oftentimes teach and I tell my church, it's not even the amount of your seed. God bless you, Rodney. God bless you, Rodney. It's not even the amount of the seed. It's your obedience in sowing the seed. Because God doesn't need our money. He wants our obedience. Amen. Come on. Our money is a seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if we eat our seed all the time and we spend our seed all the time and we don't never put it back into the kingdom of God, then we can't receive the harvest that he has for us. Amen. But when we do, hallelujah, things like that will happen. Glory to God. The woman of God says her, her, her belly is on fire now after she sold her seed. I say to God be the glory. Amen. I say to God be the glory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we just bless your name tonight, Father. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise 
Father, I thank you for this here, your people, oh God. I thank you for this word, oh God, that you have released unto your chosen vessels to strengthen them, to remind them that they have power and you have given them that power. Hallelujah. And the power that you have given them, Father, they are to continue to walk in that power in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I even thank you for your strength on tonight, for your people, oh God, that you have strengthened them, hallelujah, to run this race with patience. You have strengthened them, oh God, even through this word, hallelujah, to keep on going, hallelujah, not to throw in the towel, mm, hallelujah, but to continue to run on to see what the end is going to be. Father, I thank you this early morning, oh God. And I thank you for your word most of all. Father, I ask right now in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that as your word was released unto your people, they will receive it, hallelujah, with a joyful heart, hallelujah. They will receive it knowing that you have spoken to them this early morning in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you for every seed that has been sown on tonight, hallelujah into your ministry, into the kingdom of God. Lord, I pray that you send some 30, some 60, some 100 fold upon your people now in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. And what they're standing in need of, Father, hallelujah, that you will release it expeditiously. Ha, huh? glory to God, suddenly in the mighty name of Jesus. And I even thank you for the miracles. Hallelujah. Yes, God, I hear you. Mm that are attached to their obedience tonight in their giving. And Father, we bless you for it now. We praise you for it now, oh God. And even those that may sow tomorrow, and even those that may watch this broadcast and sow later in the week, Father, I thank you even for those seeds as well. I thank you, Lord God, that you're going to send the harvest. Ah, hallelujah to your people in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you. We praise you, oh God. We bless your holy name. And it's in Jesus' mighty name we do pray. Amen and amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Listen, I love you all with the love of Jesus. Amen. Have a beautiful night, each and every one of you. I do have something to say on Facebook. All right, so I'm going to exit YouTube. And I'm going to exit Instagram. God bless you all tonight. Have a wonderful night.